darlings. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. I am on my way to go see Miss Misha for brunch today. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. It is so nice out today. It's not cold like at all, which had me kind of stumped when I was trying to find a pair of shoes to wear today. Um, but we, we got it together. We just put on some sneakers, but um, yeah, it is so nice out. So I figured I would get on the road and go see Miss Misha so we could get out in these streets. Um, right now I'm in the line at the Starbucks to get me a little drink for the road, but child star, is it just my Starbucks or is it like an extremely slow establishment? Like this line is so long and I've been in it for so long and this car in front of me has the reverse lights on and I don't know why. Oh, they're getting out of the line, but the line is now starting to move, but that's cool. <clears throat> but yeah, my Starbucks, the line is always wrapped around the building and they move so slow. So I don't know, y'all let me know, is that just my Starbucks or is that every Starbucks because everybody loves it? But, so yeah, we're in the line to pick up. I got my um, strawberry acai refresher that I'm waiting to get for my drive. Hey, like, give me just one second. Please. Okay. Eventually. Hey there, thank you so much for being patient. What's your name? I had a mobile order for Diamond. Gotcha, right here. We'll see you at the window. Thank you. Hello, Diamond. Hi. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm all right. Thank Very you. Tired. I Have know. A good one. You too. You can tell by the decor. I've made it to the Pink Palace, and there is Miss Misha. She is busy. <laughs> she is intensely watching this Wendy Williams documentary. Look at he's already trying to deflect. He's ready to blame somebody else. Look at him. 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 Look this is our outfit of the day, very cash. Got our platform kids on, Fashion Nova jeans. T-shirt with our Neo Noe that I have not carried in forever, but super cash. All right, we have left the little brunch spot. We are on our way. Well, we are at the mall now. The experience at the little brunch spot, mm, we pulled up. Misha asked me what I thought. I said, it looks a little underwhelming. That should have been a sign, child. The food looked pretty. It was very pretty, but the taste was lackluster. If we're gonna be food critics about it. The taste was very lackluster. The name of the place was Seasoned Kitchen and Cocktails, but it was very much lacking seasoning. Misha, what do you think? Uh, you know, I, yeah. I'm still hungry. I'm still waiting on my next meal. I'm trying to figure out what I'm finna eat. Though I ate the food, it still left me feeling like, like what am I finna eat? It, the chicken was just fried chicken. It was seasoned with grease, that's it. <laughs> Dipped in grease. Floured and, and dropped in grease. But it was fried beautifully. Yeah, it was very pretty. The waffles were different. They said they were funnel cake waffles. They didn't seem like funnel cake. When I think funnel cake, I think kind of light and airy and crispy. But they were just thick and heavy. Misha thought they were biscuits when they I came out. Oh, some type of biscuit. But, I mean, it's a little vibe if you like that type of vibe. They had, like, you could sit outside and smoke. They have, like, shisha and hookah and all of that. So, if that's the type of vibe you're looking for, then cool. But... It had potential, but for me, it's not a place I would go back to. 
Well, I would definitely go back. I would go back. To try something else? Yeah, because, you know, everybody was raving over the catfish. And yeah. So they kept making announcements to be patient about that catfish. So if I were to go back, I would definitely get a catfish um, catfish and grits. Yeah, whatever comes with that. That's catfish what and I, grits. Yeah, I get that. Well, if, if I do go back, the next time I know. Yeah. Well, we about to go traipse around in the mall for a little bit. working today but it's so nice outside I feel like the cold weather is finally gone um I'm working from home so I decided to just go out and go for a little walk it's so nice and it's not too hot it's definitely not cold at all but it's just it's just really nice outside it's really pretty the sun is shining so I had to go out and take in some fresh air take a break from this computer and just go for a nice little walk <clears throat> but I'm back now um, all of my meetings for the day were canceled. So very happy about that. So I've just, um, got a couple more things, really one more thing that I have to do. And, um, I'm going to call it quits for the day. What time is it? It's two 30. Yeah. I just got one more thing to knock out and then I want to call it quits. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all. I'll be honest with you. I'll probably talk to y'all tomorrow when we're going into the office. <laughs> I'm just, you know, taking a break. About to do this one more thing that I have, and then we're gonna call it quits. We're done so for the day. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye. Hello, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Now, we're just gonna give y'all bits and pieces when we can. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. I'm on my lunch break because, who it has been a day. It hadn't really been a day. It's, <laughs> it's been a regular, normal day, but I, a lot of times in the morning when I have to come into the office, I run super late. And when I run late, I can't A, make coffee at home or B, pick it up from Starbucks. So I'm forced to drink break room coffee. And in order for the break room coffee to taste decent, you have to make it strong. And when the coffee is too strong, child, I just cannot take it. So I'm in line to try and get something to eat because as you can see, I have the shakes. So I have the shakes, I, I just, I feel jittery and I gotta get something to eat. So the closest thing is Arby's. So that's what we're in line to get. Even though I'm supposed to be in our diet, well, I could get a salad. Um, I haven't had a salad from Arby's in so long, but I am just so jittery. Whew, so I gotta eat something to calm this down and i don't understand what's taking so long child Woo! but um i hope y'all having a good day i'm having a good day so far i'm getting a lot done we've been really productive we just put our earbuds in and we go to work i've been listening to um sammy the bull y'all know sammy the bull gravano he was like a hitman for the mafia 
I've been listening to his interview from last year that he did uh, with Vlad. I'm going to listen to the other one when I get done with this one. But this one is like two and a half hours long or two hours and 20 minutes, something like that. The stuff that this man is talking about, it's like stuff that you would see like only in the movies. And this is his real life. It's it's crazy. It's very interesting, but it's super crazy. <laughs> So that's kind of had me occupied. I've been listening to it for um for a few hours now. It's on like I said, it's only like two and a half hours, but because I'm working also, I've had to like stop and rewind and like wait a minute, what did you just say? Let me pay attention this time if I can. But like I said, I am working. It's like it's 119. My next meeting isn't until two. So I'm trying to grab some food really quickly. I'll probably just eat in my car and then run back in for my two o'clock but um i hope you guys are having an amazing day i just wanted to check in since we're doing this weekly vlog but um what do you guys do you guys listen to like crime podcasts and stuff like that what do you guys normally listen to i love finding new stuff to listen to when i'm at work because i listen to music but sometimes i get tired of just listening to music and listening to stuff like sammy the bulls interview kind of helps it puts just when you can listen to something in the background kind of puts you in the zone and it kind of helps the day go by what is just so let me know give me some recommendations of some things that you guys listen to let me know down below in the comments so i can broaden my horizons of what to listen to while i'm in the office and needing to get stuff done So we're definitely gonna have to go hard with our workout tonight because I didn't plan on eating lunch. Um, I'm normally like, the way I operate is I eat breakfast and I won't eat again until I get home. Like a, I eat like a light breakfast, uh, as light as potatoes can be because that's normally what I have. If I'm running late and I have to like get something at work, I'll just get like some tater tots or potato wedges, whatever they have in the morning time. And that's normally my breakfast. If I can stop by Starbucks and get my coffee, I'll get my coffee and a ham and Swiss croissant. And like I said, I won't really eat until, unless I get really, really hungry, I'll get like some baked potato chips from the vending machine. But normally I won't eat until I eat dinner at home. But normally I'll just pick up a salad on my way home. Um, so tonight I was going to do a steak with some broccolini. I have uh, some broccolini that I need to use. So I was gonna do that and I was gonna do a steak I don't know if I'm gonna do that now since I'm eating fast food for lunch. I may, I don't know, we may have to find something a little lighter than the steak. But I guess the steak is protein, I do need protein. I don't know, we'll see. I don't like to do, when I feel like I'm eating too much, I try to regulate. And since I have breakfast, but I guess it's normal for people to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I don't know. Don't mind me and my unhealthy relationship with food. <laughs> no anyway um so yeah i'm just gonna have to figure that out they're taking so long in this drive through line uh the person behind me is leaving <clears throat> it's 123 i hope i'm gonna have time to eat in the car before this meeting because i really need to just scarf this down really quickly because i hate this feeling i hate feeling jittery like this but yeah i just got gas so um, I was hoping that gas would be cheaper over here because it was last week, uh, it was 10 cents cheaper over here than it was where I normally get gas. So I came over here, um, but gas is 3.15 now. When did gas go up? That's crazy. But anyway, let me, I'm gonna turn my music on while I get sit in line and just wait for this food, child but <clears throat> i will um i'll talk to you guys in a minute if i have time to eat in my car while i wait for my food if that makes sense if i get my food in time enough to scarf it down in the car before i go back in which i'm hoping i will i've got about 36 minutes right now before my next meeting so this i didn't plan on this taking so long we're finally moving a little I don't know what they're going through at the Arbis, child. But, yeah. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Good 
morning guys how are you this wednesday morning this gloomy wednesday morning i must i must say i am on my way downtown well i just got downtown i'm headed to a um black history event that my company my job is having the company that i work for is having i am on the leadership team of my company's area DEI network so I am going to this event in person showing my face something I rarely do for these things but since it's black history month and it's a black history event I figured I'd go support in person um we are I'm actually excited for this one it should be really good we're having a speaker she is her name is Lisa McNair and her sister was one of the little girls that was killed in the 16th street church bombing so she's gonna be uh speaking and talking to us about her book which is called dear denise letters to the sister i never knew so i have not read the book yet <clears throat> i think they may be giving out copies or they may have a few copies for us to get um if so i'm gonna snag one so I can read it. If not, then I'll just I'll just get the book <laughs> and read it. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing her speak. Like I said, this should be really interesting. I had planned to do so much this month for Black History Month. I wanted to go th this place, go that place, do this thing, do that thing. And y'all know life be life in. So <laughs> I just didn't get around to doing any of it, which is another reason why I definitely wanted to go to this event um so yeah that's where we're headed i'm going to try to bring you guys with me if i can we'll see if that's possible because i definitely want to share this with you guys also so yeah oh i just crossed like four lanes <laughs> and still think i may need to be in one more i'm not sure i haven't been like to this building i used to work down here so i worked down here for like almost four years um but i haven't been down to this building since i stopped working down here so we'll see about parking and all of that because when i worked down here we used to park there's a parking garage back there it's like two blocks away from the building so we had a parking pass and we used to have to park there and then walk two blocks but um can i turn right here I think I can I'm going to yeah I can but um definitely not about to do that right now <laughs> we're not parking at that parking garage because there there is parking attached to the building though um I think I just can just get a parking pass and they'll validate my parking I'm pretty sure that's how this that's gonna work Get this validated before I leave. Now, where to park? Is that a spot? Oh, they came around that corner hot. I can't tell if that's a spot or not. I know I don't think I want it if it is because I don't like it. This is why I leave early, guys. <laughs> I will end up in this type of situation every freaking time. Let's try to make this one work because I'm tired of driving around already. Okay. Thank goodness for parking cameras and cars. All right. We are in the thing. Awesome. Okay, we have our parking tag, ticket, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> 10.38, vent starts at 11. We are good to go. So, I ran out of the house and left my earrings. And normally, I keep a pair of just like some El Cheapo earrings in my purse. Some like fashion hoops or something like that that I can just plug in. Um, stick in whenever I forget my earrings, but... Of course I changed purses, <laughs> so I don't even have those. I'm gonna touch up my lipstick. I believe they 
blocked off some seating for um, the leadership team. So I leadership team. So I don't have to worry about trying to find a seat because we have reserved seating. Pull this up. We don't want our boobies out so much. Okay. Let's go, shall we? As you know, Denise was one of the four girls killed in the bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church on September 15th, along with Kara Robertson, Annie Mae Collins, and Cynthia Morris Wesley. Uh, the other three girls were 14 years old and just beginning their freshman year in high school. Denise was the only child at the time. Uh, that was a crater that the bomb created in the basement of the church. It was about five feet deep and wide. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the, um, it just gave, gives you an idea of the impact of five girls that were there. She lost an eye and suffered several bits of shrapnel damage, but also lost her sister, Addie Mae. But she lives today to tell her story. And she has an amazing story. Prison and brought to justice by Bill Baxley, who was the Attorney General at this time. And that's Bill convicted of murdering the girls and served life sentences. On attempts to ignore or rewrite parts of our actual history. Well, if you're gonna rewrite it, you need to add the stuff that you didn't put in there in the first place. <laughs> so that's not rewriting, that's just making like you wrote a paper and you left out a big piece and you need to go put that other piece in there. <laughs> so, um, and I think we all have to fight for that to happen. That's important. She just can't tell part of the story. Like, you know, you know what it said about the slavery was a, a good- There were benefits. There were benefits to slavery. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So does that mean that the people who were slaves after they learned the skill, they could take their the knapsack and go to another place and get a job? No, that wasn't the case. Because they said that the fugitive slave law would make them come get you. So let's be real about it. Tell the truth and tell the whole truth. And don't don't lie about it. You know, we'll be better off if we just tell the truth. Hey, yo, we are back in the car. I am about to head. I could work from home the rest of the day, but I have a meeting that I wanna be in person for. So I'm about to go back to my office. Well, first I'm gonna grab some lunch and then I'm gonna go back to um, my office for this meeting. When I tell y'all I enjoyed uh, Miss Lisa so much, I was able to get some clips. I'm gonna show y'all what, you know, everything that we talked about or that she talked about as much as I can, but I enjoy her so much. She's so funny, but her story is such a good one. Her family's story and how what they went through played such a pivotal role. I know the lighting is crazy. And how what they went through played such a pivotal role in the civil rights movement. It, you know, everybody's heard about the 16th Street bombing and the four little girls that died. I never knew there was a fifth girl. So I learned so much today. So like I said, it was, it's just, it's one of those things that you've heard about, but to hear it from the perspective of someone who was directly affected by it is, is really different. And it, it just sheds light on so much more. So I'm really glad that I decided to show it for this one. We got to take a couple of pictures with Miss Lisa also. And it was just a really good, it was a really good event. I'm really happy that I got to be a part of it in some capacity because it was a really, really good event. 
So yes, now we are about to head out. They will not validate my parking. So like on the way in, I was talking about how I was not about to park at the um, parking deck that I used to park at when I worked in this building because it's two blocks away and you have to hoof it. Why not just park in the parking garage that's attached to the building? Well, they won't validate the parking for this parking garage, which is so stupid to me because you know, it's attached to the building. Um, let me go ahead and get out because realizing that the longer I sit here, probably the more I'll have to pay. I've been in there for about two hours now. So let me just get my payment ready and all that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and head to my, I'm gonna go pick up some food. Talk to y'all later. Morning guys. Well, good afternoon because it's definitely about to be one o'clock. We are getting a late start this Sunday, Saturday. What's today? Whatever day it is, we'll put it down there. <laughs> I am about to go run a couple of errands. What do I need to do? I have a pair of shoes, some Sam Edelman mules that I absolutely love. They're tortoise. To know me is to know that I love tortoise. Um, and I bought them, I want to say in like November. And I'm just now breaking them out to wear them with something. And they, I try them on in the store and I don't remember them looking as long as they look on my feet. <laughs> as they do today so i put them on and i'm like "Ooh, these look so big on me so um i put them up online they have two in the store for the size down i don't have the receipt i cannot find it because it's been so long i'm gonna go and see if um they'll let me just exchange them for the smaller size without the receipt i hope they will because i love the shoes i'll show them to y'all in a minute probably when i get in the car but I love the shoes. Well, let me go show them to you now. So these are the shoes. Super cute mules. Casual work. Dress them up, dress them down. Absolutely love them. I love a good mule. And when I had this outfit that I'm have putting on today in my head, I was like, oh, I'll throw those on with these jeans and this t-shirt. And that'll be kind of cute. And I want to put them on and they look like boats on me. So <laughs> we're about to take them and see... Um, if we can switch them out if not then i'll just have to post them online to sell them or something but which sucks because i really really love these shoes but anyway um i ended up going with a different pair of mules instead we're doing just these little comfies i want to say these are amazon specials um a new day no these may be walmart specials i don't know either way we're going with these um yeah so we're gonna head out. I wanna go to, gotta go to Belk. I wanna go to TJ Maxx because when I went to brunch with Misha this past Sunday, they had the cutest little clover necklace. And I should have like really investigated it then, but it's been on my mind ever since. So I wanna go to my TJ Maxx and see if they have those and how much it is and all of that. Cause I may get one cause I really like it. If it's gold, I'll get it. But, um, and if it's reasonably priced. Um, so I wanna go to Belk, TJ Maxx. And then I'm gonna go to Publix because um, hopefully while I'm out, I'll figure out what I'm gonna eat or cook. But um, either way, I need to go to Publix, especially if I'm gonna cook. Y'all know my go-to is salmon, so I may just get a piece of salmon, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and get on these streets. I'll show you guys the outfit of the day. So here's our fit, just some baggy mom jeans, a tucked in t-shirt and uh, my mules, my Python mules. And we're just gonna throw on our Neo Noe crossbody. We've been rocking with that lately. So, yep. I like baggy oversized jeans. They can tend to make you look a little bigger, but if you style them right, I feel like they, they look really cute. So yeah, let's go. It is such a gloomy day. <laughs> I think it rained yesterday. It had to rain yesterday. Did it rain yesterday? I can't remember. But um, I don't know if it's going to rain today, but it looks like it. It's super gloomy out. But um, I think I'm going to work. But I think I'm going to work, go up and work my way down. So I think I'm going to go to TJ Maxx first, then hit the Galleria, then hit um, Kohl's, and then come back up just a little bit and hit Publix. Because I forgot I have some Amazon returns to take back to um, Kohl's as my drop-off place. So um, it's tall. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to ride up to TJ Maxx first. Let's see if they have this necklace. I feel like this is going to be an in and out type of deal, but either way, come on, let's go.
Okay, so we are back from running our errands for the day. Now I'm about to just uh, tidy up my bathroom before I was getting ready to go. It's not bad because I didn't put on makeup or anything. Uh, tidy up the bathroom, put my uh, groceries, away, groceries away first, and then just relax for a little bit until I get ready to have dinner. But um, what I want to know is why y'all didn't tell me that the lighting in my bathroom had clearly deceived me because I left the house thinking my lace was blended, everything looked good. I even called my mama, FaceTime my mama, and she even said, oh, your lace is blended so well. I was like, thank you, girl. Child, I get outside in that natural sunlight, check myself in the mirror before I go in TJ Maxx. Just frosty, frosty white. How come y'all didn't tell me? So <laughs> we have our little edge band on right now. We did some some modifications. We put some more foundation on. We tried to lay a little bit, a little bit of something here or there. So <laughs> we're trying to uh, fix that problem so that doesn't happen again when we leave the house and the sun tells all my business. It's not even that sunny outside. Ooh, it's just it's got to be that the light in here just is a great deceiver. But anyway, we're going to fix that so I don't walk out the house looking foolish again. But it's okay. It's no big deal. But I am about to relax and enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you guys do the same. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.